What up, YouTube? Cuddy Montana right back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to use the MPCX or MPC Live in FL Studio. Check it out. What's up guys welcome back to my channel if you like anything that i put out please like and subscribe to my channel i really really appreciate it in today's video we're going to use the mpcx or if you have an mpc live in fl studio and the reason why i wanted to make this video is because lately i've been using fl studio because a lot of other producers that i've uh, been collaborating with use fl studio and they definitely don't i ain't gonna say they definitely don't but they don't mess with the mpc mpc live mpc software and i've been an mpc head since day one since my very first mpc which was the mpc 2000 xl um and from there i fell in love with the mpcs i just love the swing the knock the, uh, how you sample everything about the mpc i love so when they came out with a digital um format which was uh the MPC Renaissance, and then they became then they came out with the MPC Live, the MPC Touch, the MPC X, which I got right here. Um, I just I'm in love with it. I, I can't help it. But um, I've been using FL Studio lately, so I was trying to find out a way how I could keep this, you know, and use it in FL Studio. And I believe I found a good way on how do you can use your MPC or your MPC Live in fl studio so we go dive right into it let's get it first i'm gonna pull up fl studio and to save time in the video i already uh, created a melody that uh i'm gonna put some drums to so i'm gonna show you guys uh as so i got fl studio pulled up let me open up one of my projects that needs drums let me go let me go right here so, yeah. So I have this uh this pattern pulled up. Uh, it definitely needs some drums. Um, and I'm gonna show you how you can use your MPC Live or your MPC X in FL Studio. So this is the melody I had. Very simple, just you just need to add some drums. So, how you can use your MPC X or your MPC Live in FL Studio, you simply just go to the plus sign in the pattern of FL Studio. If you install your uh, MPC, it's definitely installed as a, not only the software but as a VST, so you can use the MPC uh, software as a VST. So, you uh, go to MPC. It pulls up just like that. So in this screen, you see that it automatically got the tempo already mapped out for you. Uh, you see it's 142, 142. So you definitely can uh, don't have to worry about <laughs> matching the tempo in the software because it automatically does that. Now, uh, as far as picking your drums, you can go, like if you got a drum uh, program already saved, uh, for all my MPC users, you can go go get your drums uh, or the stock drums that they have. You can click on, you know, a subject matter like hip hop. You can go to one of the. anyone and then you could just easily like you do in the uh, software and just take that and drag it over to the pads and then it comes available and another thing that I found out that also if you had drums already in your FL studio you can also use those drums so let me just go to a different bank let me go to bank B and if you got some drums in FL Studio, let's just say, um, go to some kicks that, that I got. Uh, just go through them. Uh, let me just find 
kicks that hit hard. <laughs> you gotta have your kicks that hit hard. So I'm gonna use this one. So you can just drag it to any pad. And now you got that that kick drum. I'm just gonna find another one. I'm gonna take that one too. So now you got I got two kick drums. Now you get your clap. And you just drag that. So basically what I'm doing is just building another drum kick uh, that I want to use for this beat. So I just go in here and just find the sounds that I want. Should have had this already done for you guys, but uh, <laughs> well, we just we, hey, we here now. So let me find some hi hats. Let me move this over so you can see. Let me find some hi hats. Let me go ahead and put some hi hats like that right here. I mean, you can put however you feel comfortable putting the, uh, your sounds in different pads. I just, right now, I'm just all over the place, so I'm just, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just trying to show you guys how you can use the open hi-hat, hi uh, get a crash, and... Get an 808. You gotta have some 808s. Let's get us a good. Let's get us an 808. Okay. I always like to put two 808 my uh drum kit. So now that we got our drums we want to use, we want to go to the bars that's in the MPC software. Uh, my bars on the actual sequence is four, four bars. So you want to make sure it's four bars on the MPC software, and then you're ready to go. So all you got to do is hit the record button in the MPC software and the play button in FL Studio, and you would get the metrodome click that comes in the MPC software. <laughs>
I'm gonna add a, my second hi hack. I, it's just something I like to do. Uh, we'll overdub that and then. <laughs> Users, you know how we do this. <laughs> uh. We find what we need, and then we go and put that in. <laughs> snare drum claps hi hacks whatever we want to do with the drums so what we want to do now after we add the drums to the beat we go up here to the uh top left hand corner in the mpc software in three lines we go down to edit we go down to track and we go down to explode so now after we explode the tracks now we got each individual instrument that we use in the kit of the drums on their own separate track so to get them over into FL Studio, all you have to do is we go to track two. And this looks like the 808. So all we got to do right here, come up to this part right here. And it's basically going to take this into a wave file. So we click on that. And let me move this over real quick and pull up the, the playlist. this around so you can see it so now we just take that wave drag it and put it in our playlist just like that so now you do every sound that you got in your drum pattern uh, so this looks like either the clap or the snare drum so we come over here click click that explode the track and we take that wave export it wave into our playlist Bam. So then we go to the next instrument. Do the same thing. Take that wave. Add it there. Go to the next one. that way and put it there and then we go to the next one so we have the prayer explode I mean export Now all we got to do is we want to cut this part off.
to your pattern. We're going to explode these. Split by channel. And now we come over here. Everything in the playlist and rearrange the song. Just like that. So now we got the drums, the instruments, everything together. <laughs> After you put your drums in the mixer and itemize them, so now you can have completely control over all your drums. You can turn them up, turn them down. You can put effects on them, some reverb, some whatever you do with your drums. But that's how you would use the MPC software and your MPC X, your MPC Live, and FL Studio. I hope this video can help somebody. Uh, leave a comment at the um, end of the video. If you like it, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I got more videos like this on the way. So this is how you can use your MPCX and FL Studio. <laughs>